I want you to think about the most tedious task you do at work each week. The one that makes you sigh when it appears in your calendar. Imagine saving 80% of the time you take on that task. With GEMS, you can by creating your own experts that help with those repetitive tasks. Let's jump in and create your first GEM today that'll start saving you time immediately. In Gemini, we're going to go down to the bottom left of the screen and choose GEM Manager. And on this screen, you're going to see some pre-made GEMS, which might already be helpful. There are things here to help you brainstorm, maybe help you code or learn how to code. If you're in sales, it could help you create a pitch. These are great starting points, but I think the real power in gems comes from custom gems that you can use to perform any tedious or repetitive task that's gonna be helpful for you and your context. Just make a list of the five most annoying repetitive tasks that you have to do for work, and then choose one of those tasks to create a gem to help you with it. For example, if you're in sales, you might provide the gem with a bunch of data from your weekly sales report, and the gem could format it for you in a really clear list of bullet points, maybe with some insights and actions about who the best performing salesperson is. Or if you're a teacher, you might create a gem that helps you create example answers to questions for your students to save you doing that from scratch. Now, I'm going to create a gem today that helps with customer inquiries for a business where we buy and sell Lego bricks. We spend a lot of time replying to emails, and we want this gem to draft those replies for us to save a bunch of time. Here's how we do it. I'm going to click on new gem at the bottom here and give the gem a name. I'm going to call this customer inquiries responder. Then I'm going to give it some instructions. Now a great framework I like to use for these instructions is in four parts. Persona, which is the role you want the gem to play. Task, the thing you want it to do. Context, the information it needs to do that thing. And format, how you want the output to look. I've made a whole other video just going into more detail on that framework, and you can find the link in the description. There's a couple of ways you could do this. You could just write these instructions yourself from scratch. Here's some that I've created earlier on, but I actually got Gemini to help write these for me in a separate chat, or you could drop some notes in this instructions box, and once you've got those notes, you can actually click this button to use Gemini to rewrite those instructions for you. I like to keep things as concise as simple as possible. So under Persona, Owner. I'm telling the gem that it's Brickbin's friendly and helpful customer support assistant, giving a bit of background. Under task, I tell it that it's going to respond to these email inquiries that come in. So each message it receives in this chat is an email from a customer, and it should write a draft for us. For context, I'm actually going to add a document in a moment that has frequently asked questions and information about the business. And then finally, format, I'm reminding this gem to respond in a friendly and professional tone and to draft it in the format of an email rather than just a list of bullet points, for example. Also, I don't want it just to copy word for word from my document. I want it to write a brief response based on everything that it has learned. So rather than put all of this information directly in the instructions, down at the bottom here, you see I've got the option to add knowledge. So I'm going to click on the plus button here to add a file. I'm going to choose files and I've got a PDF here that has lots of business information and frequently asked questions with answers. So every time the gem responds to one of my questions, it's going to use this document to think about the context before it provides an answer. Now you can test your gem on the right hand side here, but actually I'm just going to click save. And the way that you would access this gem if you want to use it is to click start chat. If you need to start this chat at any other time, you can just go over to the sidebar in Gemini here and you'll see that the customer inquiries respond the gem that I've created is right here and if ever I wanted to edit it I could click these three dots and choose edit. Why don't we give this a test? I'm going to paste in an example of an email that we might get from a customer and let's see what we get. Here we go it's providing some information about the packages of bricks that we sell. The way this saves you time is that you don't have to provide the prompt up front every single time. It's already got all of that context so literally every time I chat with this gem all I'm going to do is copy and paste that email straight into the chat. So let's try another one. I'm going to paste this email in here and hit enter. The gem thinks for a moment and then provides an answer. There we go. It's telling the customer how much we buy Lego for with a bit more information about filling out the form or dropping it off in store. And that is how you can quickly create a custom gem, which is your very own expert to help you with a tedious or repetitive task and save you a bunch of time every day. If you've got any questions about Gemini or there's something else you want me to make a video about, drop it in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one.